Well, this looks a lot better, doesn't it? Top of the table, get in. I don't, I don't care that it was Gibraltar and Georgia, lads. Ireland are back. And who needs Declan Rice when you've got a middle-aged Glenn Whelan? Anyway, let's take a look at a starting 11 compiled over the last Irishman to play in the Champions League. Lads, it's been a while. Oh, and no, Champions League qualifying does not count because, uh... Well, why would it? Shea Given 2003. March 2003. That was the last time Ireland had a goalkeeper in goal during a Champions League match. No surprises that it was then Newcastle keeper Shea Given, with his final game being a 2-0 home defeat to Barcelona. Taking on Barcelona in the Champions League with a defence consisting of Titus Bramble, Andy Griffin and Andy O'Brien. Christ above, lads, that's like turning up to a gunfight with a goddamn bottle of milk. Steve Finn in 2008. Yeah, we're going back 11 years to find an Irish right back in the Champions League. An understated lad from Limerick, the former Notts County defender ended up appearing in two Champions League finals. The man must be Held up as a national god back in Janesborough. Anyway, his last game came in February 2008, playing the whole 90 minutes as the Reds ran out 2 0 winners over Inter Milan at Anfield. John O'Shea 2011. Since 2011, John O'Shea has seen about six different managers, been relegated twice, had the second one filmed for a Netflix documentary, cementing his failures in stone, and now at the age of 37, he's stuck at the same club as Paul McCartney. Shane, the Champions League must feel like a lifetime ago, and I suppose it was. His last game was starting as a left back in a Champions League semi final in April 2011. It was arguably the easiest route to a final the club ever had. They were playing shock for Christ's sake. 4 1, 6 1 on aggregate, job done. Darren O'D, 2008. Darren O'D, more like Darren O'Dear. Sorry, lads, I'm still traumatized by that thing he called a performance he chucked in against the Germans seven years ago. 6 1. At home. Not good. Anyway, this man can just stick his fingers up at me and say that he's played Champions League football. I mean, not much. Less than half an hour spread across two games, but still. During the 07 08 season, he played out a 1 0 draw at home with Man United for Celtic before playing the final 10 minutes of a 2 0 home win over Villarreal the next month. Man probably thought, yeah, I can get used to all this European action. Someone get me a pay rise. Instead, the rest of his career will be filled with Toronto, Blackpool, Mumbai City, and Dundee. Dennis Irwin, 2002. The lads, the last Irish left back, aside from O'Shea, I guess, to appear in the Champions League is now. 53 years old. How tragic is that? But yeah, let's go back all the way to April 2002 for Dennis Irwin's last Champions League game with a 1-0 draw away at Bayer Leverkusen depriving the club of a second European Cup final under Ferguson. Irwin played the last 30 minutes in a game that featured Michael Balak, Lauren Blanc and a 21-year-old Dimitar Berbatov. Aidan McGeady, 2012. Aidan McGeady is a lad who polarises opinion, although most in Ireland have now come around to the realisation that for all his tricks and skills, he has about as much end product as wet sock. Still, he spent a few years out in Russia with Spartak Moscow and one of the weirdest transfers I've ever witnessed involving an Irishman. But I suppose, fittingly, this man's last ever Champions League game came at the home where he devoted six years of his life, with Spartak losing 2-1 to Neil Lennon Celtic in December 2012. This was back in the day with a hoop side featuring George Samaras and Tony Watt beat Barcelona and finished above Benfica. Mad times. Darren Gibson, 2011. Price lads, it seems like half this team ended up at Sunderland. Darren Gibson, they probably should have stayed away from, signing him for his long-range efforts. What they got instead was a lad sinking jars down the pub and smashing into parked cars on the street. Back in his day, before he strangle the life from his liver, Gibson was actually a handy enough player and can retire in the knowledge that he scored against Bayern Munich and his last ever European performance was with a goal in that 4-1 semi-final win over Schalke. How different things could have been for that lad if he just stayed away from the whiskey. Darren Potter, 1005. Willow Flood is unlucky not to make this list, but as I said lad, Champions League qualifying does not count, so you can take that 20 minutes at the Emirates and flush it down the sink. Instead, we're going for Darren Potter, who edges out Roy Keane by six months. I don't even feel like Potter deserves to be in here. He played five times for Ireland, and his last Champions League game was just a one-minute appearance in a nil-all draw for Liverpool against Real Betis in November 2005. One minute? I mean, come on, lads. Shout out to Lee Miller, too, who actually scored for Celtic against Leon in late 2003. May that man rest in peace. Damien Duff, 2006. Yeah, we're in 2006 for this one. Now, we all know Damien Duff had a great time in the Europa League for Fulham, but no. His days of Champions League football ended at the age of 27 the day he signed a contract at Newcastle. It was a damn shame that for one of the greatest Irish players of the modern era, his Champions League career lasted all of three seasons. Still, he packed a lot in. I mean, repeatedly terrorising Barcelona. His last game was actually at the new Camp, playing an hour before Ronaldinho effectively sent the Blues packing. Killian Sheridan, 2014. I know what you're thinking. Who? What do you mean you've never heard of Killian Sheridan? The lad from the back arse of County Cavan who went on to play for CSK, Sofia, Apuel Nicosia, Ammonia, Jagilino, Bionstock, and Wellington Phoenix. A god awful footballer, there is a reason he's only been capped three times, but fair play lad. You've played Champions League football for two clubs, not many can say that. Not only was he turning up for Celtic in that competition ten years ago, much to their supporters' dismay, but he played the entire group 
stage with Apoel Nicosia during the 14-15 season, with his last game coming in a 4-0 battering at Ajax. This man has shared the same pitch as Lionel Messi. That alone has justified his career choice. Anthony Stokes, 2013. Now, Robbie Keane just misses the cup by two years, so instead, I'm going for a forward line of Killian Sheridan and Anthony Stokes. If we did that in real life, I'd probably shoot myself in the face. But yeah, the Stokes, the man, goalless in nine caps, and who's taken a famous disliking for Elvis impersonators, now plays his football out in the middle of Iran. But he was once a Champions League man with Celtic, with his last game being an eight minute cameo at the new Camp in December 2013. Whereas the previous year Celtic had beaten Barca, this time it was 6-1, with Neymar scoring a hat-trick. Not exactly something to staple to the fridge.